It's time. Come. Close. Now. Come close. The shards of an honor code junkie or the boy who was forced to grow up. Dangling high from the rafters is one single antique Edison light bulb giving off a warm flickering light, inhaling and exhaling as if alive. The space is rather clean, seeming as though a maid has just tidied up, but yet somehow comforting as though a mother's love is watching over and protecting it. Now close your eyes. Close your eyes and exist. Take several deep breaths. In, out. Smile, it really does help. Feel your mother's arms wrap around you. She leans in. What is she whispering in your ear? Keep your eyes closed and just imagine. Mirrors are scattered everywhere. There are mirrors with frames, mirrors without frames, mounted mirrors, dangling mirrors, mirrors of every shape, size, color, and century. The more mirrors, the merrier. But ominously looming upstage, a giant empty frame adorns the size and design in which might have been found a hand-painted heiress immortalized gazing deep into your soul as she remains trapped, mounted over the mantle of her crackling fireplace in a Henry James tale circa the late 19th century. Downstage left, a Dean electric single box or perhaps a Stromberg Carlson wood wall telephone exists. There is a comfortable looking armchair downstage right, an end table matching the mirror frame in aesthetic and humor is edging a little more towards the middle. Take a moment, continue breathing, keep your eyes closed. Can you envision the space? Have you transformed this old church into a world beyond your own mortal eyes and deep in your fantasy. You see, everyone has their own weird world in which their mind wanders with their own landscapes, their own dreams, their own adventures. You might have a waterfall where I have an icy glacier. We have our own stories, our own tales. Yours is yours and mine is mine. Now, take one more deep breath in. On your next exhale, open your eyes. This, my dear friend, is his. <laughs>